Welcome back everyone. As you can see here in the last video I escaped a deadly wind and we're now in the ruins of Kilant Lys and we're trying to find a way to safety through the ruins to our main purpose objective, the Gilded Vale, uh, which is in Deerwood. Now I know this area a tiny bit because I've seen it in a preview about half a year to a year ago. Uh, so I think after this though it's completely blind from here on out. Now in between videos I actually changed my inventory around a tiny bit. I think I lost my main weapon with uh, my main player character. There was a scripted event at the end of the last video where I had to help out Hyoden. I think I lost it then uh, throwing him a weapon. So I've basically I've given Kalisha's armor to Blue Og because it's slightly better in damage resistance. And I've uh, given him hide armor because that has less recovery speed uh, than his leather armor had. I've given him the bow and I've switched around some of the potions. You can see here actually, this gives slightly different endurance based on who you give it to. This is because they all have slightly different might values. Uh, Kalisha being the most. I think these two are probably going to need that more than uh, my player character. That's what's currently in my inventory. Right, let's uh, get started. I've also slightly changed my formation round as well. Uh, Hyoden is a... What is he? He's a rogue. So he's particularly good at stealth and mechanics. Now, have I got these on? Quickly and Scout? Quietly. No. Sure. Okay. So, what's that? Lower level of the ruins has been blocked off by fallen rubble. Let's put on fast scout as well. So you can't actually go there. Those tiles. Okay. Now, if Hoden, Hyoden gets sees any enemies, he's gonna have to make a quick. That should be far enough. <sighs> but what now? Quick escape, because he's not uh, the best to take them on, uh, on the front line anyway. So Hyoden's chest rises and folds visibly with each breath. That should be fine enough. But oh, right. So he's, yeah. Just we look for it. another way out. Storm has to die sometime. It is actually possible for Hyoden to get injured in that first bit, but I managed to uh, avoid that with my choices. So... What happened out there? Right, she's not going to voice this bit. Kalisha shakes her head, windstorm of a kind, the only get in Aya Glanvath. Not too many people live through them, so it's hard to know what's true. The Glanvathan word for is Beowick, to them, it's the god's way of reaping the souls of the land that couldn't find their own way out. But they'll take a living soul as soon as a dead one. Still got yours? Souls are going to be a main theme in this. So, who attacked us? Glamvathans? Those would be the hut dwellers Odama warned you about. Look to be fans of Gla Galloway, who are the twitchiest of the lot. They go ruin to ruin, looking for fights with colonists. Poor Odama. I think he half expected this once we lost the main road. The Glam Vathans said we trespassed in the ruins. I don't believe that. Odema would never allow it. But as much as the fans are hotheads, Glam Vathans don't attack without being provoked. Either way, either they saw something and got the wrong idea, or she glances down the passage beyond, or there's looters in here with us. That's not something we need right now. What about everyone else in our caravan? Kalisha's lips press together and her chin rumples, her voice is flat. The wheel's got hold of them now. She looks up. Gods grant them better luck in their next lives. You don't seem too upset about all this. Kalisha looks you in the eye, a volatile current running beneath her voice. Maybe you just don't know me enough to know what upset looks like. And maybe I've seen worse too. Seen worse and kept on walking because there's nothing else to be done and because other people you care about who still need you because there's other people who care about you who still need you right let's get going okay let's check the map as well so it looks like there's two different ways to go here possibly 
I'm going to turn off that pig thing after this uh, ruins. I think it's a bit annoying, I find it to be. Might not use any of the back uh, free stuff. So another thing I haven't shown as well is a beastery, which we uh, got some information on the wolf. But when you get... The experience you get from killing animals or opponents in the world, basically you complete the beastery and then you don't get any more experience from killing that type of enemy. Okay. Let's go that way. Wonder who was here. See if they left anything useful behind. Okay, looks like there's a chest up there. Right, let's have um, him in the front. How can I help? He has the most. They'll never know I'm here. Stealth and mechanics. If there's traps here, then he's most likely to find them. Okay. Small shield, that's not going to be any real use to me. And we got another torch. Right. Hmm? Ooh, camping supplies, that's going to be extremely useful. The only way you can get your health back in the game is by resting. And you need camping supplies to do that, or an inn, a uh, bed. Uh, we've got a mix now, so let's take uh, all of that for him. And you can see here, tutorial bit on camping supplies. Okay, let's slightly swap around my inventory. So, hammer and chisel, I'm going to give that to mechanics guy. Uh, that's giving him extra deflection, I think I'm okay with that now, so... I'm not sure what value a torch is, really. If there's any other value other than it being a weapon. Um, I might swap it out for a mace at some point. Hmm? Okay. Got to remember to keep on sneak mode or I won't find any hidden objects. If there are any. It's also a pretty good idea to have it on in a dangerous area. Potential dangerous area. Okay. Oh. Well, I've spotted something. I don't think it's saying that's hostile, which is a bit surprising. Perhaps let's come up here and I'll come back down there in a second. Okay, rather weird. The Eastern Reach is a dangerous place full of lurking enemies and carefully concealed secrets. Enable scouting mode to move stealthily and search for hidden objects like traps and secret doors. Yeah? No problem. Okay. Look at the tiles. What are those symbols? Right. So there's a new journal update. Let's just look in the quests. Uh, I've come across a section of tiles marked with peculiar symbols. There may be a clue about their meaning nearby. Right. Looks like uh, could be a corpse there. Let's go and uh, find out about that then. Uh, my formations currently they're set to that and that. So that's my defensive formation, that's my scouting formation. How can I help? 
Okay, nice. We found a crossbow. And Gwythin Relief Gem. A torch and a tattered journal. This small folio is torn in several places and blood has soaked into several of the sheets. One later entry is still legible, however. I can't believe I luck a few rounds of dice and I've got my hands on a genuine Anguithan artifact. The fellow who had it said it was a pretty nothing as far as he's concerned. He's not willing to go digging in some ruins. But if he's right about this jam leading to a hidden treasure, then that's worth sneaking past a few painted elves. I'll head to Keelant Lease in the morning. Then it's just a matter of finding this relief he was talking about, so that uh, sounds interesting. Let's um, stick all of that on my main guy. Uh, that gem went straight into my stash. Is it a quest? Oh, it is a quest item. Okay. Now crossbows are more damaging than bows. I, what I'm going to do, I'm going to give him the bow, and I think... Give the bow to him and hit, give him the crossbow. He's... I can't remember what his stats are like, but he's probably more set up for melee than uh, range, arguably. These two are temporary companions, so they don't stay for, with you for very long, I believe. Wait. Do you hear that? Okay. Yeah? Sure. I think I'm gonna see what this guy is all about down here. Oh, there's actually a pot there, so I wouldn't uh, grab that anyway. Right, let's yeah? bring my no problem. fighter forward. She can come forward. Now he's it's not saying he's hostile, so what I'm gonna do is let him see me and I might How can um, I help? Well, we'll see if he turns hostile or not. Okay, it looks like it's a bit scripted here. A trembling, sickly creature emerges from the dark, clutching a spear. Knobbly elbows and thin ribs show through its scaly flesh, but you recognise it as a Zaurip. It watches you cautiously, breathing in ragged sighs. Now, I've no idea if it even understands my language. Uh, I could just kill it, but it hasn't been aggressive to me yet. But there's a dead guy up there, so that doesn't give me much hope. I could slowly back away, but I want that pot down there. So what I'm going to do is use that. The creature cocks its head and approaches you, a soft clicking sound emanating from the back of its throat. <laughs> creature sniffs around you and finds nothing of interest. It steps back and resumes its defensive posture. Azarep watches warily as you go. Well, he's not being aggressive, but um, that doesn't mean he won't be. Mm, no problem. Ah, right. So I went too close to him and he's gotten aggressive by the looks of things. So let's use that. I uh, probably should have switched to that weapon previously, arguably. And she can also switch to that. Okay. Okay, so he's engaged. Did I miss? Let's try that again. If I turned off slow mode. Let's turn that off. Okay. Right, he's knocked down. Are those fired now or? No, I don't think they have. So what I'm gonna do is wait until they fire. She can switch out her weapon. And get involved down here if he's still alive, which he isn't. Okay. My eyes are peeled. Right, so he's got a shield and some type of Zaurip spear. Uh, so let's take that. I might want that spear actually because spears give accuracy boosts. I'm not sure. 
base is 11 to 16. Uh, probably do at this stage want that more than the deflection, arguably. So he's got a better shield than that, so I can go on there. And so, hmm? oh, hmm? right, so let's be careful because the traps. I'll use him to take a look in that. There isn't any. Good. Uh, so go there. And what's this? Hunting bow. I think we've all got. Yeah, all of them are hunting bows. Hmm. No problem. Right, is that gonna have consequences killing that guy? Go and check out uh, that that room with that uh, symbols in a minute. It's kind of here. What the hell is that? Skulder Whelp. Right. Uh, let's come back there later. Okay. Hmm. Let's take a look. Eh? Got it. How can I help? Worth a look. At this. Right, so we detected a trap because of Hyoden's mechanics. Uh, let's... Sh yeah, that's his stance there, and... Let's, yeah. Worth a look. Okay, another trap there. For pause when you find hidden objects. How much... Worth a look. It's been handy. Right, there's traps all along there. Oh, I can actually use my mechanics. Um, I'm not sure if you fail a trap test if it goes off or not. So what I'm going to do is actually yeah try and look through here. No problem. First. Roundish symbol. I'm pretty sure I saw it on one of the tiles back there. That one, like a snail? Where I can't see a roundish symbol. Hmm? Can Come on, we're not dying in this place. Hmm? Talk to these devil. This trip could have gone better. Not anything interesting to say really. Uh let's how can I help? Take a look at what that is. A symbol of a patterned circle is inscribed on this pillar. An unlit brazier sits at its base. It could be lit if you had the means. Fire godlike requirement not met. Use a torch to light the brazier or leave. I'm going to leave for the time being. Probably not a hmm? good idea to uh, use them unless I know what they are. Although I eh? might do it later No on. problem. How can I help? Ah, here we go. There's symbols up here. Some... Hmm? Okay, so maybe it affects it if I light them. Reasonable uh, theory. There's a nice uh, wall paint in there. How can I help? This mural must be ancient, yet the colours are still bright and vivid. Well, eh? either they've got some really good paints sure. or it's not that old. I see. Okay, let's see. Yeah? No problem. Continue through here. Okay, we found a lesser black ooze, and there's a corpse there. So there's traps one way, and there's two enemy creatures on the other way. So I think I'm gonna have to uh, let's try and take out this guy. Is it? So let's eh? bring. Oh, did I not have scout on again? Right. Got to uh, remember not to do that. She can. 
attack that. Actually, what do you need? bring her up. I might want to use a knockdown ability with her. Okay. Slow on for a second. That one has engaged, interestingly. So, swap that out. Eh? Leave him there, actually, then. Oh, hang on a sec. No, it has engaged now. So, let's knock that guy down. And... You know what? I'm not going to knock that. I'm going to knock him down with that one. Kalisha can knock that one. And he can attack there. Right, I think she just killed him. Uh, she can knock that guy down. What's that there? Okay. Uh, hmm? She can... That down when it gets back Got up, if it gets back up. Right, it's pretty simple. Yeah, all this combat has been really easy so far, to be honest, but uh, I'm expecting it to get a lot harder later on. So, ooze plasma is probably an ingredient. Got it. Okay. Oh, there's an adventurer there. Hmm? Let's use Hyoden. Whole axe. Uh, let's take all. How can I help? Might use that on Kalisha. What's that muck on the wall? Hmm? Sure. Okay. How can I help? Fish, viscous, I should say, and oily. This muck clings to anything it touches. Let's take a look at that. Viscous slick or something dark and tar-like runs down this wall. The shapes and bulges in the ooze suggest that something lies beneath it, but you can't tell what. Right, I've got a water skin that we picked up earlier. Uh, Sarvel, so let's use that. You rinse the ooze away, revealing an intricate relief of a man's face. The sunburst surrounding it has chipped away in places. But the details of his head, from the tight curls of hair to the ridges of his pointed ears, still showcase remarkable craftsmanship. One eye socket is empty, a gem fills the other. So, we found that relief gem, didn't we? So let's use that. The chamber begins to rumble, stray rocks dancing across the tile floor. Finally, a large section of the wall gives way. So... Looks like we found something. They'll Mine's never know I'm here. No, I'm uh, switch it back. I forgot to use that blinded strike before as well. With the crossbow. Right. Uh, attack there. Uh, blind strike that. And is there only one? Knock down. Let's check something. Yeah, it's on hard. Uh, so he's knocked down. Let's get her more involved. He is attacking, yep. Is he still down? Oh, he's blinded. And... Combat over. My eyes are peeled. Let's take that. Small black ooze. And there's something there. Minor Cloak of Protection. So, this is new as well. It looks like special items have a background to them. Amethyst and Ardra. Let's take that. Check out the inventory. So, what is this? Capes and cloaks can be worn. Right, it's just a normal cape description, I think. Reflex, will, and fortitude. So, what does my... this one give? Nothing, I think. So, I'm going to give that... I don't think this cloak does anything, actually. Unless there's some event for it or something like that. Right. Yeah? Okay, it looks like... There's nothing Quite. more up here. Let's 
So, I could try and light the braziers. I think I've got torches. I might do that. But what I'm going to do first... I could also try and disarm the traps. I think I'm going to try and go around the eastern way and attack that creature before I do any of that. Okay. Yeah, I should probably look in the beast strip at some point to see what uh, those black oozes are like, because I have no idea what. Well, they had some weird range attack, didn't they? Right, he's starting to get s scouted. I should have had the bow on. Okay, that's. Yeah. Place him there. Right, so he's engaged. Uh, so let's switch that out and get into close combat with him. I think I probably the thing is opponents can switch their targets in combat. So you've got to be a bit careful with uh, more squishy characters like Rose. Oh, so he's knocked down. What's his health like? Oh, he's nearly had it. And has had it. Okay. Time to see and not be seen. Yeah, for someone who's. Anyone who's played the back a bit Got is going to find this very easy to uh, start, I think. Or played a lot of the back of beta, at least. That looks weak. Could be a shortcut. Okay, let's, How can I uh, help? Try it then, is it? I am quick saved at all through this dungeon, so let's do that. Crack runs along this wall from floor to ceiling. A light gust of air passes through it. Push on the wall. Use the hammer and chisel to weaken the wall. Or leave. Now, this is potentially dangerous. It could fall on us, couldn't it? Uh... I've only got one of those, though, so do I want to use it up before trying that? I'm going to try and push on it, I think. Despite the damage, the stone looks heavy and solid. So... Might would probably be the best stat to push it, maybe. So let's try... Kalisha. I think she has our best might. Yes, so Kalisha pushes with all her might, and the crap begins to spread. Finally, the ancient masonry gives way. The wall crashes down, revealing a circular room ahead. Okay, and luckily it didn't fall on us. Eh? No problem. I could scout ahead, see what's around the corner. Sounds like a plan. Okay, we found one of those guys again. Uh, so. How can I help? Yeah, set. Oh, my. They'll never know I'm here. Didn't have scouts on again. Right, lucky didn't do shit. Well, he did see me, that guy did. Right, let's pull you back there. Kalisha. Don't have the bow on, that wasn't clever. He's using some attack. Let's bring him to there. Okay. I think these guys can daze you. How can I help? Uh, I need to keep. Hmm? You know what? Let's switch that out. Let's knock that one down. That can knock that one down. And how can I help? You can pull back to there. Okay, and let's blind. That one. That one. Oh shit. Right, that is knocked down. Brilliant. So five odd seconds. There's more up. I'm mm. going to move him up here then to uh, kind of grab. Attack him quick enough, hopefully. No, he's going to 
attack Kalisha, which I don't really want, or would have Rogue even worse. I've got to get someone over to deal with him as well. Okay. She'd be knocked... Right, that's nearly dead, yeah. actually. Right, let's knock down. Kalisha, target that one. And... Oh, that is... No, it's not dead. Let's, um... Attack that one because it's got the most health left. Ooh, what do you need? Hmm? Go back there. Don't. They break engagement a lot more now than they used mm -hmm. to. These creatures. So you've got to be a lot careful. <laughs> a lot more careful. With what do you need? That. Right. Let's knock that one down. Oops. Hmm. And that can attack there. You can. Still prone for a couple more seconds. Uh, how long for that one? That's blinded but not dead. Yeah. Are you attacking it, supposedly. Right, it's like a shot but it's still not dead. Ah, shit. Right, let's just get you out of here. Um, don't want him directly attacking him because he's bad endurance and health. Right, that's dead. Huh? That isn't engaged, so let's take you on. Hang on a second, I thought most of his health had gone. Guess not. Let's pull that back up there. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. And that's front one. Gotta be really careful that or you can get yourself in trouble. Right, so that's downed. She what is. You need? can go there. Go there. Missed. Am hmm. I out of pure encounters? Yes, I am. Right, I'll fire off one more shot and then I'll engage your combat with him if it's not dead by then. Okay, but it is. Okay, let's hmm. switch her up to that. And uh, I think there's one thing to loot there, so let's do that. Skull the ears. That's just for enchantments, probably. They'll never know I'm here. Okay, I think I'll have to leave it here. It looks as if we've gotten through about half of the temple, maybe a bit more. So we'll probably finish this uh, ruins up in the next video, I assume. Right, hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.